Welcome back guys. We are out here on day three. Hopefully today we're gonna get a roof on this thing. That is what I would like. So, um, yesterday we actually got the joists up, but if you look at these guys, there's a slight grade to them just because the foundation wasn't exactly level. So, first thing I'm gonna do, put a level up here and then push this right joist to you, left to me, up so that this one is level. And the same with the back because this is what our roof is actually going to attach to when we put the other two by fours in here. So, step one, detach this, wonderful, after attaching it, push it up until it's level, then do the other back end, push that up till it's level, slap it all back together, then we can start putting the two by fours on here and actually start roofing this sucker. So let's get to it. things so one my dad was nice enough to say hey why don't you flip the clamps upside down and then you can actually get a grip on them yeah didn't think about that thankful that you know people look at stuff when you're like oh this doesn't work and then they go just flip it upside down um also we're cutting out the niches in the two by fours now because we're going to put three two by fours at the top to support the roof so now i've already cut my nice little shape out of him on the end so they match the other joists and now I'm just going to cut the tenon out so that we can put it up on the 2x6. We'll have a template for our other ones. We'll cut the other two, put them up there, then we can start putting a roof together. Let's do it! to show you guys this real quick. So if you see the 2x4s in comparison to the 2x6s, you'll see the 2x4 has a little bit more meat on the end of it. And I wanted that there because, well, one, I wanted it to look different when it went to the 2x4s. And two, I, was, I wanted the 2x4s to have a little bit meat towards the end coming over to the 2x6 joist. But I wanted to show you guys what I was doing with that because usually that doesn't get shown. So if you look at my lines here, the part I'm going to cut out is right here, that guy. This is 10 inches from the edge, 10 inches from the edge. And then this is 12 inches. 12 inches is where my two by six should hit on these guys. So let me show you guys how that works real quick. So I want to make sure that I have two inches of gap between where I'm going to cut the piece off and where it's going to hit my two by six. So my two by six is going to hit here. So that's measured out at 12 inches and I want two inches of meat. So I come back to 10 from the edge, right? Come here with the square so that we can make a line. Bing, 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 bing. So now we know that this gap should be the amount of two by four between the joist and where I'm going to cut off the little fancy bit. And since we have 
one that we already cut, we just lay it, make sure it's in the same direction as the other one, trace our line, and now we know this gets cut out, this should be our space, and this is where our 2x6 will lay so we can figure out where to cut the tenon. Pretty simple, but you know, it never actually gets shown, people just show you cutting them and never show you actually how to measure them out. So there you go. All right, we have reached one of the inevitable frustrating things to happen during a build. Hence, who I am. The uh, Tecron screws that I got are three quarters of an inch, which I thought would be fine. As it goes into these stringers, the, the corrugated tin roof's only maybe a sixteenth of an inch but what I have found is that unless you really ram it home those three quarter of an inch ones don't have enough thread left over after the gasket to actually engage with our stringer so we're not actually putting the holes in it like we want to um, which is a problem because we want this thing to be nice and we don't want holes in it and we don't want the roof to just fly away so I'm gonna have to go get 
longer screws to put into here, which means that I'm done for today. Because by the time I get back out here, it's going to be too late. So, whew, we're just going to keep moving these stringers over because, of course, they don't line up correctly because they never do. So we're just going to keep moving these over that way tomorrow when we're putting the roof back on we can actually get it done but right now there's not much we can do i can oh well, there's one thing i can do but i can't finish the roof today which is really what i wanted to do i wanted to finish the roof today i have no idea where that screw went Okay. Okay. Oh, there goes another one. All right. So, I'm going to do what I can before I leave, but I've, of course, also don't have enough screws. I can do three more boards. So, that's what we're going to do. We're gonna do three more boards for the ones that connect our uprights for when we do our chevron pattern. And then I'm gonna to have to wait until I get my two and a half inch screws to finish it up and my inch and a quarter Tecrons to finish it up. So let's do what we can. Threw my pencil on the ground. It's one of those days. Welcome to making. So let's do what we can and get on out of here.